Who's winning now? Ha! Ha! Hip! Hey, don't touch my pieces! That is cheating! I am not short! But you should know for future reference that small people do not enjoy being lifted up as if they were children. I am an emperor! I am king! Hey, can you give me a little hint here? <sighs> well, you need to enlist a carpenter so you can fix that bridge I broke, stupid.
glow in there. Any carpenters home? Go away, burglar. I'm not a burglar. I'm a recruiter for Fred Bonaparte's army. We're a little light in our corps of engineers, see? Listen, I know you're a burglar. I've been listening to your footsteps on my roof all night trying to break in. Why don't you just slide down the chimney? I got a nice fire going for you in here, Mr. Burglar. Okay. If I'm a burglar, then how can I be down here talking to you and up on the roof at the same time? Maybe you're a ventriloquist. Listen, if I go see what's up on your roof and take care of it, will you come out and help fight Napoleon? <laughs> Maybe. Good enough. Hey, how do I get up on your roof? Well... I think you ventriloquist burglars usually walk across those ropes that are tied to my neighbor's roof. No. <laughs> you know, I should really take those down with all the burglars we have walking around. Hey, how do I get up on your roof? Well, I think you ventriloquist burglars usually walk across those ropes that are tied to my neighbor. You know, I should really take those down with all the burglars we have walking around. I needs a duffel bag tag. Okay, you can come out. Burglar's gone. 
Wow, you're pretty tough for a ventriloquist. Okay, here I come. Just show me where there's some wood to work on, and I'll go to town. Thank <laughs> you. 
Recruiting for the army of Fred Bonaparte and go away. Fred Bonaparte has forgotten the people, and we have forgotten him. What? Fred loves the people. He was just telling me that some of his best friends are, um, the people. He has abandoned us. He doesn't care if we live or die. Look, I'll tell you what. I'll talk to Fred. I'll talk to him, and I'll prove to you that he cares about the common man and that the fight is not meaningless. I'll believe it when I hear it from him. Hey, we really need your help out here on the battlefield. Did you talk to Fred Bonaparte yet? Oh yeah, that's what I was supposed to do.
Was easy. Stronghold stormed. Game one. Oh, you have to storm the stronghold with your knight, you stupid fool. Oh. Oh, now who went and broke my beautiful bridge? Don't worry, darling. We'll get you fixed up good as new in no time. Man, I am good. Mm. Oh man, I would totally love to move over there, but that soldier would kick my ass, and I'm not getting paid for that. Soldier bugging you? Yes. Well, why don't you come out here and fight him? Hmm. What's the fate? Uh, freedom? <laughs> Forget it. Hi. 
Is this big soldier bugging you? Yes. The problem is, people think you don't care. What? I care? Then lead them to victory, Milky Toast. Shut up! They think you don't care if they live or die. What do they want from me? A notice on my official stationery that says I'd be sad if they died? Yep. Huh. Well, that doesn't work. Let me guess. You give up? Bingo! Ha! Another game at which I would surely defeat you. Hey, you take that little victory if you need it, tiny man. Thanks for the note. You have really nice handwriting. Yeah, well, I was a calligraphy major in college, actually. Ugh, this just gets worse and worse the more I know. Look, Fred cares. You can't just tell the people you care about them. You have to show them by leading them nobly into war. Hey, it's a start. Important message from your fearless leader. Oh my god. He does care. He does. I knew it. Fred Bonaparte is the greatest leader of all time. I can't wait to die for his cause. Well, you might not die. You might win. Hey, he's a great leader, but he's still Fred. Okay. Hurl my innocent bones into the cruel machine of war. I'm ready.
Hello? Sorry. I can't storm Napoleon's stronghold today. Too weak. Oh. Okay. Want me to call a doctor? No, I'm not sick. I just can't find any decent food around here. An army moves on its stomach, you know. An elite force such as I require an elite cuisine, I'm afraid. Oh, well, I'll keep on the lookout for some place with good takeout. Only the best, young lad. I am a Frenchman, and anything but the finest French delicacy might bruise my palate and leave me unable to storm anything, save the vomitorium. Ew. Fatherland. Okay, I'm ready. Now put me right next to Napoleon's lackey, and you'll see some action. Time to fight for the Fatherland. Okay, I'm ready. Now put me right next to Napoleon's lackey, and you'll see some action. Good work on that bridge there. Yeah, I think I nailed that one. <laughs> Carpenter joke. I kill you! Sacre bleu! I cannot believe it, Fred! You have accidentally done something right! I have? Yes, but I'm afraid it's still not enough. More manpower! Ah, oh, mon dieu! I hate bridges! Ah! That is for killing my father! Bridge! Hey, stop killing my bridges! You're making me mad!
Okay, snails. It's time to serve the cause. So be it. If it is truly a time of war, then we are ready. We can no longer pull our heads into our shells and hide. We are, after all, armored warriors, and this is our land too. We may not be fast, but we always march upon the glittering path of righteousness, for we created ourselves from our hearts. Lead us onward, and let us eat holes in the leaves of Napoleon's garden. Wow, right on. Yes. You guys ready? Yes! We're ready to fight for the fatherland! To fight nobly on the field of battle! Our shells are tough, and soon we will cover the enemy with our silvery trails! Okay. Just remember there are many different ways to serve your fatherland. 